Hi, I'm Becky and thank you for taking a break to join me for our yoga flow for today. Today we're going to do a flow that's oriented horizontally. So switch your mat if it's not already set up like mine so that we look the same. All right, close your eyes. Roll your shoulders up to your ears and down your back. Take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Relax your fingertips to the mat beside you and then flip your palms up. Inhale, reach your arms overhead until you feel your hands touch above the crown. And then exhale your hands through heart center, bring them to the earth, shift forward and come into a wide-legged forward fold. Shift forward and back between the balls and the heels of the feet. Feel the outer edges of your feet ground into the earth as you hug the inner leg lines together. Take a slow, deep breath in. Exhale, relax the head down. Release tension from the head, neck, and face. Let's start to move. Your next inhale breath, walk your hands to the right. Low lunge, right knee above right ankle, left leg super strong and active. Tack your right sitting bone to your left inner thigh and hug your hips together as you lower your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. We sweep up and find length and then lean back into an upper back bend. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands down, frame the right foot. Back knee off the ground. Inhale, slide the right foot back into plank. Place your right hand under your face to the center of your mat and then shift forward and let the left arm float up to side plank. Ground firmly through the inside edge of your left foot, outside edge of the right. Bump the left hip higher. Good. One more inhale breath. Exhale, left hand down, come into your strong plank. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, down dog. First down dog of the day. Dance it out. Pedal out your feet, wag your tail, shake your head. Make it feel good. With your hands wider than your shoulders, your feet wider than your hips, move your thighs back and lengthen your side bodies. In your next inhale, step your right foot forward. We're back into our low lunge. Exhale, walk your hands around to your forward fold. Inhale, continue walking to the left. We're coming to the other end of our mat. Now we're low lunging into the left leg. Left knee above left ankle, right leg strong. Spiral the right inner thigh up to the ceiling or the sky. Bring your right knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Hug the outer hips together as you lunge, stretching and opening the front right thigh. One more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Back knee off the ground and then inhale. Slide the left foot back to plank. Move the left hand underneath the face. Left shoulder above the left wrist, spin open to side plank. Inhale your right arm up. Press through the inside edge of the right foot, outside edge of the left, and then plug the head of the right arm bone into the socket. One more inhale, lift higher. Exhale, right hand down, plank pose. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, lead with your hips, down dog. Dance your dog again. It's our second down dog. Make it really active. Maybe come to your tiptoes and then roll back and lift your toes, grounding into the balls of your feet. 
And then drag the balls of your feet backward and notice how that wakes up the backs of your legs. Fingertips are spread. We're pressing firmly through, especially your thumb and first finger. Upper arms rotate inward and then the heart melts, armpits are hollow. On your next inhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Good. Exhale, walk your hands around, back to our low lunge, front of our mat. Let's flow that breath to movement. Inhale, walk your hands to the right. Low lunge. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Exhale, center your right hand. Right shoulder over right wrist. Inhale, plank. Expand. Exhale, left hand down, plank. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Exhale, walk your hands around through wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, walk your hands all the way to the left, low lunge. Back knee down, exhale, breath. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank, slide the left foot back. Exhale, center your left hand. Inhale, side plank, arm reaches up. Exhale, back into your strong plank. Inhale through your nose, pike the hips back, down dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge. Exhale, walk your hands back to center, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, hands to hips, toes out, five-pointed star. Good, exhale, horse. Good, now go ahead and tilt your torso forward, bring your thumbs inside. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your right shoulder. That's it. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, square the torso up. So shoulders over hips and then inhale, five-pointed star. Warrior two to the right. Long stance, I got a little bug there. On your mat, align your right heel with the center of your left arch. Left thigh back, arms level. Gaze over your right fingertips. Exhale into the lunge and then hold the lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right elbow toward the ceiling or the sky. Recommit to the strong lunge in the right leg. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Shoot the left arm over, spin the left chest open. You can also give yourself an assist by grabbing the back of your right rib cage, rotating it forward, and then sending the left bicep back by the ear. Good. Now your inhale breath is gonna be warrior one. Take the left arm, come around, separate the feet. About hip joint width apart, arms overhead. Hip opener, hey, humble warrior. Interlace your hands behind your back. Activate the left leg. Inhale, puff your chest and extend your heart forward as you let your hands float off your low back. The more you roll the head to the arm bones back and send your heart forward, the more length you're gonna get and lift the hands away from the back waistline. Release the hands, inhale, five-pointed star. Cartwheel all the way up. Exhale, horse. Good, hands to the inner thighs, lean forward, shrug your shoulders by your ears. Take a breath in through your nose. Exhale, dip your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dip the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, come on back. 
align your horse. Crown of the head above your pubic bone, external rotation of the hips. That's it. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the left. Settle in. So tendency here is to want to reach forward, but we'll save that for extended side angle. Side bodies perpendicular to the ground. Spin the right shoulder back. Gaze over your middle left finger. Left middle finger. Outer spiral of the left thigh helps to guide the left knee toward the fourth toe. Hold the low lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior. Move the left knee away from the bottom. Left ribs. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep the right thigh moving back as you reach the bicep by the ear. And then same assist if you want to grab the back of your left rib cage, spiral it skyward, and then re-extend your right arm. Your next inhalation, warrior one. Spin around, lunging into the left foot. Step your right foot wider. Toe heel your left foot toward the outside of the mat. Hands release behind the low back. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, dive. Heart reaches forward. Press back through the right foot and then hug the left shoulder inside the left knee. Slow down your exhalation. Let the hands float to the mat and then inhale them back up into five-pointed star. Toes out, heels in. Exhale, horse. And let's flow that. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the right. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior one. Little wobbly setup there. Exhale, hands behind your back. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, bow. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind your back. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, bow. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, turn your toes forward. Wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lateral lunge into the right leg. Keep your hands under your shoulders or walk them out to stretch the side bodies. Seal the outer edges of both feet to the mat and sink your hips back behind the right heel. Come back through center. Lateral lunge into your left leg. We're gonna put those two flows together. Culminating in an arm balance. Come back to center. On an inhale, walk your hands to the right. Low lunge. Exhale your left knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Exhale, right hand centers. Inhale, side plank. Get big and bright. Exhale, plank. 
Inhale through your nose. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Low lunge. Exhale, walk the hands to the center. Wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, walk the hands to the left. Low lunge. Back knee down. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, left hand centers. Inhale, spin open. There you go. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, plank. Exhale to down dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, low lunge. Exhale, walk your hands around, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, hands to hips, rise up, five-pointed star. Now turn your toes out and your heels in. Exhale, horse. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the right. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior one. Feet are separate so the hips can spin. Exhale, hands behind your waist. Inhale, puff your chest. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, horse. Five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands behind your back. Inhale, puff your chest, brighten through the heart center. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, flip the toes forward, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lateral lunge right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lateral lunge left. Come back to center now. Walk your hands in, bend your knees, and toe heel your feet a couple inches wider than your hips. Now drop your hips low. Malasana is right here for you. You're, if you have a block, you can sit on a block here. That will support the intensity in the knees that can happen here or in the hips. Gives you some um, kind of relief from that. <clears throat> and another option here is to move into an arm balance, crow. So for crow, spread your fingers apart. We got this starfish shape. Place them like you're coming into plank, okay? Forearms move into parallel, and then hop your big toes to touch. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Big toes touch, hips up high. Really important aspect of this is pulling the belly button into the back body and gazing about 15 inches ahead of your fingertips. Tiptoe the toes in so the hips stay high and the knees move into the upper arms. Claw the mat with your fingers. Start to shift the weight forward and maybe we stay right here. Gazing 15 inches in front of your index fingers, we can float one foot. Put it down. Pick up the other foot. How was that? Or once the elbows are above the wrists, both feet float and we hold. <laughs> and when you're ready, Come back to Malasana. Deep breath in here. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Step one foot behind the other and come down to seated. Starting to bring it down here. Maybe you're still hanging out in that arm balance or any other inversion. Feel free to play. Otherwise, join me by extending your right leg straight and spinning the right thigh inward. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, fold forward. Now start to slow your breath down and close your eyes whenever you can. Watch the exhale carry tension away from your mind, your body, your, 
your sole. And then scoop up. Take your right leg, swing it back for deer pose. <laughs> Lift up out of the low back and spin the hips and shoulders square over the lower left leg. Take a deep breath in and then pull the sides of the waistline back as you come forward with wide arms. Stretch the left hip. Good. So glad you're here today. Scoop your heart and come up. Now the right leg comes out on an angle. Sole the left foot to the inner thigh. So you've got about 110 degrees between the left leg and the right. Take your right hand, cross it in front of you and grab the top of the left thigh. Inhale the left arm straight up and then side body stretch over. Spin the left shoulder open, gaze up if it's comfortable. Feel the stretch wrapping around the left side of your low back. So yummy. And then come back out. We're gonna do that same sequence on the other side. Left leg straight, sole the right foot inside. Hollow out the left groin. Inhale, length. Exhale, pull the belly button to the back body as you forward fold. Left foot is gently active as you bring, invite length in the hamstring. Hamstring stretch by invitation only, no force. Scoop the heart and come up, sweep the left leg back. This is like a gentle version of half pigeon, deer pose. Bring your fingertips to the earth, take a big breath in, then walk your hands wide, come on forward. Draw the sides of your throat back to relax the neck. Invite something to release from the hips. Just something. Make room for something new. Come up, swing your left leg around out at, the ang out at an angle. Sole the right foot to the inner thigh. Sit up straight first, right? Posture. And then take your left arm across and grab a hold of the right thigh. Inhale your right arm straight up and then side stretch over. Keep the low belly toned to support the low back in this stretch. Spin the right pinky finger toward the face. Rotate your heart skyward. One more round of breath here. And then bring your right hand down. Fold your left foot in, fingertips to the earth. Flip your palms, inhale, reach up. Hands touch over the crown of your head. Bring your thumbs to heart center. Good. Release your hands behind you. Turn, place your hands on the tops of your feet, tuck your chin, roll all the way back onto your mat, articulating your spine as you go. Set up for two bridge poses here. With your feet hip joint width apart, press into the backs of your arms and start by tucking your shoulder blades together underneath your heart center. Good, now press into your feet, lift your hips. Wiggle your shoulders underneath your chest, interlace your fingers at your low back and press your pinkies and forearms into the mat. Inner spiral the upper thighs, lift the sternum higher toward the nose, chin floats slightly off the chest. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands and in one piece, lower the back body down, hips touch first. Constructive rest here. Bring your inner knees to touch and take a deep breath. Second bridge pose. Same setup for the feet. 
Find the inner and outer edges of both feet, but then slide the upper arms in toward the rib cage. Bend the arms at right angles so the palms face each other. Press into your feet again, lift your hips, and then drive your triceps, your upper arms, into the mat to enhance your upper back bend. Mobility in the upper spine is what we're after. Move the knees toward the toes so that the tops of the thighs elongate. One more, inhale, press into the triceps. Exhale your hands to the mat and then lower down in one piece. Sweep your arms overhead. Release tension in the low back by windshield wipering your knees to the right and the left. When you feel balanced, come to center, reach up and collect your knees, getting ready for happy baby. Stay here, lengthening the spine from the base of the skull to the tip of the tailbone. Or reach up and grab the inner, outer edges of your feet, or my favorite these days has been to reach over my toes to stretch the bottoms of my feet. Hug your inner thighs around your ribs. Use the strength of your arms to draw the knees into the armpits. And now, roll the tip of your tailbone to the mat and feel your low back curve lighten. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Bring your big toes to touch. Your knees together. Inhale your arms wide. Exhale, here's a hug from me to you. Squeeze your knees in, seal in your yoga practice. Full body stretch, final Shavasana. Extend your arms out from your side bodies. Fingers will curl in naturally toward the palms. Let your toes flop out wide. Feel your natural breath return. If you have the gift of time, stay here for five, maybe 10 minutes. And when you're ready to move on, slowly roll to one side and press yourself up to seated. Bring your fingertips to the mat, flip your palms. Inhale, reach up toward the sky. Exhale your hands to heart center. The light and darkness in me honors and delights and the light and darkness in all of you. Namaste.